I'm standing here sifting gravels in the water. And right there's a little nice tool. Yeah, it's all shot with a good camera. It's all worked around that side. All worked up there. It's a little knife. It's nice. Later. All right, here's a look at this little piece. You can see that dorsal ridge running down it. Edge work all the way up, but it's worked oddly on this side too. And if you look at this, this could be extremely ancient. It could be a projectile. You can see right there. You get half that, and this is pretty primitive. I've seen a lot of pre-Clovis stuff that looks like this. And, you know, just finding this randomly on another place, um, you wouldn't know. But the place I was on is extremely old, and I found other stuff like this. And how I know it's extremely old is right here. I found this point there, right about where I found that. So, there's other stuff there, and you've got to be selective, but that's a pretty nice close point. Multiple flutes on each face, ground to there, a little bit of resharpening. It's a pretty nice piece. And I found other Clovis tools and stuff there, so... If the Clovis stuff's there and everything else after, why couldn't there be stuff that's pre-Clovis? And it's definitely here. And that surely looks like a point that's like 50,000 years old from Europe. You know, 40,000 years old. Look at some of that stuff. The stuff has different technology, and there's a lot of flake projectiles made, and that, you see it right there, that looks like an Atawattle dart. An old one. Later. Yeah, here's another artifact a few screens later. That's a big chunk of Indian pottery. Right there's the inside, and that's the outside. It's probably Mississippian cultural period, like a thousand years old. Later. This is a very interesting site I was on. There's stuff from Paleo and I think pre-Clovis. We'll talk about that a little bit in this video too. Clear up into historic. I find musket balls there, pewter buttons, Indian pottery. This is, you know, this is Mississippian. I find triangles there, all the potteries associated. But you can see this is the outside and all these little holes in it are where it was tempered with shell, which the shell long dissolved and deteriorated away so that's why the holes are there it's off a pot probably a water vessel this is the inside that's the outside so a cool piece of pottery explains it a little more this one's a little water worn on the edges it's tumbled around in the surf after it's fallen out of the bank but you can see it's tempered with other stuff too well fix i did it I usually find Mississippian stuff here, and I found some real old points here, but I don't find much. You can see I've been sifting. I just did that much here, but you can see I've been up here for an hour. Found that little knife and that piece of pottery and multiple other pieces of pottery I didn't film, but I've sifted all of this and haven't found a point or nothing. And guess what? I got one, and it's a beautiful, real tiny Flint Ridge Riverton point that's late archaic period and the first bow and true bow and arrow points that I can find where I live. Do you see it? It looks like beautiful material. It's right here. Oh, it's nice, folks. It's all there, it's perfect. Tiny true bow, look at the material. Heat treated flint ridge. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. That's really nice. Wow. Find a piece like that, made out of that real nice material. All right, here's this point from the previous clip. It's a late archaic cultural period, Riverton, called a Miram. It's from the northern panhandle of West Virginia. They're extremely well made. They're nice little points. This is made of heat treated flint ridge material. Almost all of them are heat treated and they're made of some kind of nice material. They're true bow and arrow points really happy to get it because they're really hard to find and look how nice it looks right there it is in the frame of stuff here um wow i just found this one not long ago i'll put up it glows when you put light behind it it's real nice i'll put up a link to that at the end of this video but you can see them here there's some dandies in here i found this one on video too it's real translucent. 
Most of them are made of jewel grade material. I found this one. There's a pink flint ridge one. There's some dandies. This is why I do it. A nice display of these. These are all from just like on my channel here. Later. Drug store again. Um, there's more cullet. All this stuff. There's a few jumbo peanut butters in here and just lots of bottles I've dug. Embalming fluids. I'm just taking in some more trading for one thing. I gotta clean out some of my stuff. But there's multiple more boxes. Some Sistersville bottles and stuff. Later. Alright, I'm in Doug's store. This is kind of off the side. Look at all the old French doors and stuff he has. If you want all this kind of stuff, he's got it too. And some of these chairs are really nice. With, and they're like $20 a piece. Look at these chairs right here. These have a nice look to them. And the king, like the corded seats. They're $20 a piece. That's a good buy on them chairs. Uh, see, here's some beds. He's got a room. He's got all this kind of stuff. Big pictures, about anything you'd want for him to decor. And even the upstairs has stuff like that. Plus all the stuff in the store here. Kind of see here. But I'll show you what I'm trying. I just brought him a load of stuff to get rid of it, basically. Um, I'm going to get a couple things from my mom while I'm here. Come over here. I'll show you what I'm taking. I'm getting my mom these old dishes. These, these are pretty nice. So I'm getting these. And there's some other stuff here. I don't know if she wants this. She might want these are soap dishes, old ones. These are kind of nice. Here's a teapot, but these are nice with the little saucers and cups. These are pretty classy looking pieces with gold on them. Who will take these? That's what I'm getting for my stuff. All this stuff's down here for sale. I brought in more collectors, a jar, and some jumbos, and there's lots of stuff here. But, uh, Okay, I'm going upstairs since I mentioned it. There's all kinds of stuff up here. Boxes of jars and bottles. And you see, this is a really old building. Let's see. That's kind of cool. See, just boxes of bottles. Stuff all over in there. You can just give free room see boxes of stuff everywhere there's lots of big jugs some of these are older ones a bunch of lids huh. just kind of like a flea market up here see there's just stuff everywhere and my mom got this stuff all cleaned up that I got her here. It's a pretty nice set of stuff. Later. Look here. Peeking out. He knows what I have. He was asleep, but he heard me come in. You know what I got. What's this? What's that, buddy? You having just some watermelon? He's ate that whole big piece of watermelon in just like four or five days that I got him. I'm going to have to go get him another one today. And some black cherries. Tell him you ate all the cherries too. You love them. This is my pet squirrel for all you new people. I'll hold him up here. He's a good boy. Hey, you going to do it? You going to talk a little? Look here. You going to talk? What? You gonna talk a little? Look, he had a piece in his mouth. Hey, you gonna do it? <laughs> he gets wild. Look at him. You can have it. You can have it. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go to the dump here in just a little bit. I got a few other things I gotta do. I'm gonna go dig some marbles. I just had to work on a bunch of videos. I got backed up on footage. I made a couple videos out on the river. 
um, when I did this video. I found enough for another video, so that'll be coming in like a week. <laughs>